Alright, so I've decided to do this. We are going to be playing a uh, British Empire campaign. Uh, 1890 on Legendary Difficulty. Uh, yeah, this is going to be interesting. First things first. We're just going to boop all this up. We're going to get that up to about 50%. And tech budget is going to be 100. Yep. Alright, ship design. The fun part of the game. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot in the way of options. Now that's fine. We don't need too much, I think. Alright, centerline guns. I think we'll go with 10 inches and then max out the barrel length. Let's go like 10.5, yeah. We don't have any options there. We're gonna go with the enhanced loaders, always. We want to be throwing shells out as quickly as possible. Uh, we're gonna go with spacious. Alright. Uh, what are we doing? 92%. We're just a little bit heavy, so we'll probably have to visit a few areas. Uh, I'm going to say three inches. Um, Alright. Yeah, eight, three inches to or four, ten inches. Ten, ten and a half. Alright. Um, you know what? I'm going to see if I can hit 18 knots. Ooh. Uh, 20? Is that too ambitious? 20 is not too ambitious. 21. There it is. Okay, so we're going to go at 20 and then we're going to spend the change on armor. So that gives us 500 tons to play with. First things first. Like 3 inches of superstructure armor apparently. No, we're going to go at 2.5. Uh, conning towers maxed out. That's good. How much would it cost to max this out? Way too much. Yeah, we'll go with 0.8. We'll beef out the barbettes a bit. Uh, and the secondaries too, why not? Oh, I forgot to address, uh, address uh, Weight offset. Ooh. Alright, note to self. If we're attacking with this battleship, we always attack those in. Uh, yeah, well, oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. I don't know what happened there. This must be painful to watch. Yeah, there we go. I think that's uh, everything. Yeah, I got all the fancy stuff I want. Alright, save that design. Now we need a ooh, cruiser. Yeah, heavy cruiser. Okay, so we, we want to go with a minimum of 20 knots. Battleship, I'm not too worried about too many of these particulars. This is where it starts to become important. So we're 21 on the heavy cruiser. Uh, and we we kind of have to think about the role of what the heavy cruiser is going to be in the lineup. Um, because generally, I I view. The battleships very much as like 
you know, you bring those out when there's uh, nails to be smacked around, but that's about it. Um, cruisers, light cruisers, and torpedo boats, destroyers as well, and battle cruisers tend to be uh, a little different, I find. Okay. just gonna set this up how we like it I always go with the uh, the better tower if I can if that's an option on these early designs and stuff it doesn't really matter as much Ooh, is this can we get away with that we can although engine efficiency is just abysmal <laughs> Which is making me think that we're probably going to have to get uh, some research done in boilers, I believe, to get induced boilers. Yes, that would make sense. Where's the stat in the side that I'm looking for? As much as I like having all these stats, this is the one thing that's a pain in the ass. Engine efficiency. Ooh. Yeah, that's gonna suck. Okay, so this is gonna be coastal defense. I think that pretty much decides it for it. Uh, as fun as it would be to have... Could we even do 9-inch guns? We could. As amazing as that would be. I kind of want to, mm, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're going to go with smaller guns, methinks. Nah, no, we're, we're, we're doing it. Actually, you know what? Being that I see this in more of a coastal defense role, we're gonna give it singles and enhance loading along with extra secondaries. Why? Because it'll be engaging faster targets. Being able to reload quicker will be very beneficial, especially early on. Although I could probably go with like 8 or 7 inch guns instead of the 9s, but what is the reload on this? 21 seconds. This is not bad. It's pretty good. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much that. We'll throw some superstructure on there. A little bit of inner deck. How we we got 6.4% uh, aft weight offset. Let's just do this. There's the aft deck. And we'll throw the rest on the belt. Ah, because a heavy cruiser with 12.7 inches of armor is fun. We could probably make this go a lot faster if we wanted to. And there again with the uh, the aft weight offset. Uh, yeah. Okay, twelve and a half inches. I'll take it. I'll take it. That's 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 a heavy cruiser, and that's honestly that's that's pretty dangerous. Two nine inch guns. In 1890, that's that's enough. That'll get you places. All right, light cruiser. Uh, we're gonna aim for 25 here. Immediately, that's a bad idea. 21. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. Let's actually let's see like 20, 23, 23. Can we make that work? 
That might be the only the territory of torpedo boats. At least at this point in the campaign. Now we can do some pretty fun things with this. It doesn't really become amazing until you get induced. Oh, they kind of fixed it. Yeah, the induced boilers. So what we can do... We can, like, run us. Is a six gonna work? Yep, six is gonna work. So we have two sevens and a six inch. The engine efficiency is just miserable, though. Can we make it better? Without removing the turret? Please? I want three turrets on my light cruisers. Yeah, that'll do it. They're still terrible, though. Uh, we're also going to give this spacious quarters some barbettes, a little bit of citadel. I'm pretty much just leaving this as is. You know, good measure stuff. Ooh, I didn't upgrade the armor. Did I upgrade the armor on the heavy cruiser? I must have. Uh, four weight offset. Yuck. Oh, I can't put any more armor on it. That's annoying. Well, what am I going to do? I guess I'll just put more armor on it. This is surprisingly um, tanked up. I mean, like, yeah, the fore and aft belt aren't great, but superstructure, conning tower, yeah, that's, that's, that's decent. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take 20. Torpedo load. Just because I like doing the meme ones. Throw that on. We're gonna put some duels on. Uh, torpedo launcher. Now the great thing about torpedo boats is who gives a crap about pitch and roll. It's all about that torpedo. Not that there's a lot you can really do about it. I guess. No, that has to be there. Actually. Smoke interference be damned. Oh. I was hoping that would work. That would have been kind of fun, not gonna lie. You know what? That's not half bad. I'll take it. We're gonna give it a little bit more range there. Oh. Since we don't really care about beam, we can just do this until it gets angry with us. And now we have torpedo boats that are good to six kilom or six thousand kilometers. They be looking sleek, yo. I like it. Uh, I'm not too worried about any of this, to be honest. All right, now we go to the process of building. Uh, how much money do we have exactly on hand? 100... 
10 million? Yeah, that seems about right. Uh, let's build five, five of those. Uh, few of those. Few of those. How oh, we can get 32 million left. And then 32 million in torpedo boats. Why? Because that's funny. Nah. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay, so maybe I shouldn't have spent 32 million on torpedo boats, but that's that's besides the point. Immediately crashes the economy into ground. Um, we we can we can afford a little bit of three percent of our tech budget to make sure we don't die immediately next month. Oh yeah, I forgot to do research. Uh, we want boilers. Definitely, because we will benefit heavily from that. Uh, we're not going to put that on that. We're going to put that. We're going to get this. Now, I'm really hoping that the campaign AI isn't super passive in this. Because I know in previous... Uh, ooh... I'm going to take that on rest. I like that GDP. As much as I can get. What are we at, by the way? Not bad. Germany is definitely ahead, but that's okay. I can work with this. Yeah, we're not doing that. Screw the French. Also gonna work with uh, that. Okay, that's great. Lighter boilers, not what I was looking for, but um, you know, I, I'm gonna let that go. I'm gonna put it on engines for the time being. We're going to try and just rabble rouse a bit. Let's hope it's Scapa flow. Most of the torpedo boats. Let's, uh, let's go over here. this gonna give us long term well I'm just gonna take the money gun cotton from the explosives that's good to know uh ooh. you know what we're gonna get some early torpedo research out of the way done Yes, I think, am I not generating tension? Is there some trick?
twin torpedo tubes, really, in 1890. Okay. That might be a little spicy, not gonna lie. Might might be fun. Uh what do we want to grab now? Well we'll get propulsion and size next. Okay, we got three million coming in a month. Forty two in the bank. Uh Can we get any more light cruisers? We're gonna build eight. Now, one thing we have to be mindful of, off, blah, blah, of, wow, is if uh, war kicks off with either Italy or Austria, Hungary, or actually even the French Empire, uh, we have to be able to defend the Eastern Mediterranean. And I think the cruisers are going to play a key role in that when the time comes. We're gonna get some more heavy cruisers. But, like, yeah. Another mill. Nothing happening yet. No one's too pissed yet. We're gonna move these three down here. Don't crash out, please. Sixteen inch fast. Oh, that might be fun. Although, if I remember correctly, fast uh, fast torpedoes have a short range. Big guns, twenty three minutes. More like four. Please and thank you. Get some hull strength thing. We're at two mil a month. How much is it going to cost us to, uh, yeah, we're going to build two battleships. What are our particulars? Minus 41 with Germany. Germany also doesn't like France. I can work with this. I didn't even check how many ships they had. It's more like it doesn't really matter. Hundred and four. Damn. Holy shit. Twenty percent growth. Okay. Teen-inch guns. We're gonna get the twelve or the uh, small guns next. Uh, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna get some armor quality. 
Then we're gonna throw down eight more cruisers. I think it's eight. Yeah, eight. Eight's pretty close. Triple expansion steam engines. Excellent. No. Uh that's got one month. We don't need torpedo size. We need... You know what? We're gonna grab destroyer designs. If we can get to destroyers early, that might be cool. Mark two two-inch guns, I'll take that. Uh, these are designs. I'm pretty sure this is gonna, no, it's not gonna send us into war. We must be getting close though, 64. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, and we got, what did we just finish? Oh yeah, mine layer. Destroyers, which don't do anything yet, unfortunately. It's what I call the big sad. 2.2, we're at 126 ships. 3,000 ton light cruisers. Do we build or do we wait? We wait. Alright, two years. I'm gonna do refits. Uh, we're out triple expansion. Oh, oops. Okay, refit. Triple expansion. Uh, it's already happy. We get armor. No, no, no. Do we have any shells? No. We did get gun cotton. Do we want to start carrying an increased complement of rounds? You know what? Let's let's jack those up in size. And uh, since we got the weight, we're just gonna sprinkle on seventeen inches of armor. Whole oh, okay, cave boy. We got a big one, Therese? As my grandmother would say. <laughs> yeah, this is a this is a happy little battleship. I mean, the guns are 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 a little less than extreme, but they work. They'll do a job. Uh, we're gonna get that gun cotton. Then you remember the cruisers also have 20, uh, 12 inches of armor. Jeez. We got that on triple expansion as well. Yeah, that. That was a good call. How much armor can we put on a cruiser? 15 inches. That's it? Oh yeah, well. Let's try to fix the aft four weight unbalance imbalance. Yeah, mostly point one percent. That's pretty good. Alright, refit this uh triple expansion. Uh gun cotton. Ah, yes. You're already pretty much maxed out. So we're just gonna play a game of back and forth. I'm 
make this 24. 23 and a half and some extra armor. No, not 2.3. 23 and a half. Yeah, okay. I will throw the rest on superstructure because why the hell not? And then the next will be turrets, but that, that, that can happen later. Alright, um, honestly, do I even bother with the torpedo boat? Does it even need it? No, we're fine. Torpedo boat can, can be fine. Uh, yes. Alright. Now we start the excruciatingly expensive task of refitting the entire goddamn fleet. Uh, how much is it going to cost for the battleships? Proceed. Oh, how much is it going to cost for the heavy cruisers? Probably substantially more. Proceed. Oh, really? Just after I did my. No, I gotta go to fleet. <laughs> sort by status here. Okay, no, things are actually getting refit. Good, good, good. Yeah, part of not wanting to refit with all those freaking. Uh, torpedo boats is. How, how many of them are there? I don't want to scroll through this list for a month. Yeah, we'll just slate everything for refit. Eventually we'll get through all of it, but sometimes there's a bug where things get stuck in perpetual refit. It's not fun. See, part of me wants to piss off the Germans, but that minus 1.5% GDP is like, eeeeeee. But that does give me more naval budget. Yep, let's do that. Why? Because it means I can build more ships. Do I build a new ship design? Nah. Let's go back to our research priorities. No, actually, I want to keep that armor quality spec on. Uh, gun layout's always good. Turret mechanism, gun layout, and big guns are three kind of complementary ones. The small guns you kind of just pick up after a while. Kind of in between the important research. But it shouldn't be overlooked because that's your defense against small ships. Do I cannibalize my GDP further for more funds? Yeah, we're, we're, we're going to take the money and run. We're 120 million. We have quite the war chest. We're going to take more money. It's, it's like they want me to spend money or something. And spend money I do plan on doing. Let's get a few battleships. Ooh. Uh, that doesn't need to be on cruiser design anymore. Uh, we're going to put it on hull construction in the hopes that we get some Hull weight reduction research. Because that just translates into more armor. And it's great. Why is Serbia in this? Um...
Why is it costing me six million dollars to send a cruiser? Well, we can piss off the Germans some more for six million dollars. I'll do it. Yeah, so apparently Serbia is, is a thing. Okay. Alright. It's about to happen. 35 minutes in. We about to duke it out. With the Germans. I hope that's not one of the big ones. No, it's just a cruiser and two boats. Move you here as well. All right, here we go. Let's hope we don't get trounced. Oh, I thought I was going to war with Germany, not Austria-Hungary. Oh shit. No, I just totally didn't read that war thing. That's between Germany and France, or Austria-Hungary and France. My God, I am dense today. I apologize. <laughs> uh, we can build new shipyards. We're going to. We can fix this. <laughs> Actually, no, not really. Maybe we shouldn't have cannibalized our GDP for more money. That was a dumb idea. Now we can't do anything. We're, we're probably going to run negative for a few months while the uh, refits take place. Anti-torpedo nets. Woo! More tech that doesn't do anything. We don't need gun layout. Um... Uh, I would love it if they added a thing to the prompt that just says take me to research. Oof. Come on, how many more freaking months of refits do we have? Don't tell me it bugged out. Do I have more ships than both France? Why does France have 35 battleships? Oh, hungry. Austria hungry, you poor guys. Nickel steel. Right on, right on, right on. Our refits going. They're in the North Sea. Oh. Do you guys need to go back? What if I said high priority? You know what? No, I'm just going to move you to Portsmouth. That should. I say should. Doesn't guarantee. Okay. Let's see if that worked. Uh, we're going to sort by status again. Do I seriously have to scrap all of those? Or did Damn it, I hate when this happens. Just go back to being in being or something, I don't know. I 
Maybe that'll fix it. Who knows? Please. <gasps> Did it fix it? And now we have the waiting game. How Cornwall Black... Yeah, I don't know how the Cornwall and the Black Prince. And they're in the somewhere. It says they're in the English Channel, but I don't believe them somehow. You know what? We're just going to say for the sorry or whatever. And move all our fleets back and hopefully that'll unbug things. Ah, there they are. Alright. Then we'll go to Fleet. Then we'll go. How are we not at war with them yet? Oh, we're like almost at war with them. Great. Okay, we're just gonna do one of these to make sure we get all of them. Uh, please. Again, sort by the status. So if they ever get stuck in that refit cycle, change their role back to in being when they're back in port, and it should fix it. Yeah, because like, see, I go next turn, and it's just like, whoop, done. That's Gucci. So now if we go sort by status, shouldn't see any blue. Yeah, we're good. Can we build more? Let's go, uh... You know what? Just send, send, send a stack. Make your presence known. Move this just terrifying cacophony of guns. There we go. British Empire versus the French. British Empire versus... Oh, no. That's, that's the relations. Um, between the French and the Italians. Me waiting to get into a shooting match. Yeah, no. Screw them. There we go. All right. Let us begin. Observe. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah, we're gonna do like 20 of those. We should probably budget heavily into crew uh, now that I think about what we're about to buy we're just gonna build like a literal yeah that's about enough and we still have 15 million to spare oh everything's red on the map it's a good thing everything fluffed to it well 
I, I guess, you know, it's the big one. It's a lot of boats. We're not bringing a lot of heavy stuff, although... Dem cruisers. Why is that 18? <laughs> Why do their light cruisers have 18 4.2 inch guns? Am I reading that right? I'm really going to have to rely on my battleships for this, aren't I? Okay, well... This is going to be interesting. My computer might set itself on fire in, in the uh, process, but why not? Let's go. Oh boy, I heard the engine stop in the background. Here we go. They have like twice the number of heavy cruisers. I I might get trounced. I'm not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna send our, our torpedo boats here on a bit of an expedition. We're gonna slow our main fleet down in an attempt to control our engagement times until the torpedo boats can get into. Nice little nice little uh, flanking maneuver going on. Let's get that going. We're going to hope that none of the uh, ships crash, but, you know, things do happen. We're going to pull the decoy in. Oh, boy. Such an unfortunate name for a ship. What are you, the HMS decoy? Oh, no, we got, we got spots. We got spots going down. You slap that with a torpedo. Show them we mean business. I mean, if you can, that'd be great. Just at any time. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, here, here comes the doom. Rip. Oh, no, he's going to miss. This is a torpedo boat skirmish, more or less. Let's push a cruiser up. Show him we mean business. We're going to vector the decoy to these guys. we conflict their... Uh, Conflict. Contest. That's the word. At this stage, until the battleships get in range, we're just trying to get as much information as we can. And see if we can get any cheap shots off on them. Which it looks like, if we can get past this screen of cruisers, we got a battleship right there. That's a pretty high priority target. Not gonna lie. Alright, decoy, do your job.
No, that's this too much. Yeah. You know what? Take take a line on this heavy cruiser. Hit it with a passing torpedo. Call it a day. There goes a torpedo. Or uh, yeah, one of theirs. It's a dud. That's a miss. That's gonna die. Ah, uh, the earnest. If there was ever a name to sink a cruiser with a torpedo. Alright, let's let's see it go down. Are you a lucker? No. Oh my god, he is a lucker. The torpedo boat earnest. Thing went up. Damn. I'm gonna see if I can save that. Just... The flirt. We're gonna be pushing most everything that way. I don't know what you are doing. You are going this way from now on. Uh, so are you guys. This game starts to feel a bit like herding cats in big battles. It's like more you're just kind of directing uh, ships to go sort of where they need to go. Like, what is this? attack run. We're just going to gather up some more here. Although they may get lucky with some torpedo hits. We've already seen that these things cook off, so that's pretty fun. Oh, there goes the Banshee. Rip. Oh, rip another torpedo boat. That one's about to get ripped to shreds. Oh, the Velux. Oh. Oh boy. I feel like I wasted those guys to be honest, but it's not really going to matter in the end. Oh yeah, these things have like 12 inches of armor, don't they? 15. These are the refits. Yeah, I'm not too worried about these. to not get overwhelmed with fire. You guys can start coming back this way, please. And thank you. That'd be great.
They straight up surrendered. Good. I'm not saying one of my cruisers could could stand toe to toe with one of their battleships, but cruiser if it got lucky might have a good chance if it got lucky. to do something completely inadvisable and ignore our battleships realizing that we've committed them to a crazy attack and then just pretend like it was our plan all along or something I don't know speaking of which is what I've been doing this whole time but they a don't really seem to want to shoot too much at the ships and b whatever they do it doesn't really do much that might though but it was a dud Oh, that was a detonation. Who who blew up? Oh, oh no. That's always a problem. I'm feeling pretty good about this. Okay, yeah, we're we're in a good spot. We're gonna let them pepper whatever they want to in the meantime, uh, while they close distance on the German battleship. And try to corral the cats again. Um, the cruisers look like they're making friends with their seven and six inch guns. torpedo hits yeah but that didn't at least it didn't kill an engine if it killed an engine that would have sucked I really should pull them back or push cruisers in or something I, I've just been a mess this battle not being able to hold things together Although for a bit there we were doing better, the early part, but now that the uh, the damage is adding up, I doubt that we're going to do well. You know what? I'm going to pull them back. It's uh, alt for secondaries.
Although we did take out some cruisers. Heavy cruisers, I believe, mostly. They did take out quite a few torpedo boats. I don't think they took any heavy cruisers, though. Or light cruisers, for that matter. Should have killed the Admiral Hipper earlier. Let's just have everything shoot at it in the local area. try to pull this out I don't know if we're gonna be able to but we can try we're gonna kind of make it the, the unofficial rally point for everything gonna survive it's gonna get burnt out it's taking a pounding from oh crap yeah no it's gone He's not going anywhere. Once we clean him up, we'll clean up the cruisers. Oh, he's got no ammo. Okay. Just melt the cruisers then. I don't care. Gotta keep it up. I am a little spooked that they brought torpedo launchers on their heavy cruisers. I think that's one of our first few light cruisers lost.
I'm starting to thin out a lot. <laughs> I've been reorganizing my formations without telling me. That one's gonna go any second now. Oh, definitely now. We we'll just put another hole in it. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so we cleaned that little group of cruisers up nicely. I'm gonna send you after them. And the Sydney's gonna help. You're gonna delete that while you're you're here, so you're gonna go after that while you're here. Oh, well, that was a complete ammo detonation. That that ship is completely useless now. Seventeen second reload time on nine inch guns. That's kind of good. Just, just kind of though. All right, how are you? You guys, these guys are slugging it out. Either way, they're spending a few months in dry dock by the looks of it. It's angry looking, put holes in it. Okay, so needs to turn around. He's gonna throw some smoke up too. the Admiral Hipper. Uh, Thorn in our side be gone. I think I have to go with uh, for this campaign I might have to go with a strategy I've come to call fine wine strategy. It relies excessively on refits and technological uh, exploitation. The idea being that you build uh, you build decent heavy ship hulls that have uh, just really good general characteristics and usually never fall out of use or like don't have a use case. Obviously your battleships from an early campaign are gonna fall more into like heavy cruiser rolls and less than that after a while, but oh there goes a ship. You putts. Okay, so we lost a battleship. And the the ramming sound is our, our trophy. It's a disgusting sound of metal on metal. Ripping and tearing. Say I'm, I'm very happy with my cruiser's performance. So we're definitely going to be buying more of those, more battleships. 
Light cruisers did well too. Torpedo boats, meh, but you kind of need them to absorb a lot of the stupid. ships over there and we're going to defend that. You're going to teach him the meaning of sieves. Heavy cruisers are popping, not gonna lie. I'm actually really impressed with them. Here, I was thinking they were gonna be kinda crap. Mostly due to their engine and all that jazz. Uh, but, they look to be uh, pretty happy. That's a way to go. What are you doing? Come back here. Actually, no, wait, battleships come back. Do I want to find out if this is the. These cruisers are capable. Oh, that was a partial pen. Not really, but it looks like it's happening, so. Surprise! You guys get to try to take that on until the battleships show up. Okay, you're just gonna detach. And you're just both gonna turn and go. Like, dude, enough of this. Whatever you're doing. God, the, the cruisers are kind of Swiss cheese in them. Oh, 
Oh, they have like a 16% chance to hit, that's why. Oh, they've got no armor on the superstructure, that's why. Oh, that's a lot of freaking torpedo boats. That's one way of defending a battleship. Tell me they have the dual torpedo launchers as well. No, they just have two of them on deck. Okay, chances are one's gonna be a dud, the other's gonna completely mess up the cornwall. Great, great, just great, great. Oh, and he's gonna take another two in the face. Man's not getting out of that one. This one might not either, although... We got too close and they made us pay for that. The lesson is don't get stupid. Why does it have a 12 and a 7? Or a 10.7? What crap are they smoking? Oh, it's got one underneath. Want to select it? Thank you. Yeah. Okay. It's underneath the bridge thing. Wait. German battleships get freaking three guns in 1890s. What is this? Yeah, those, those single barrel 9 inch guns were the right call for that cruiser. And those 10.6 uh, is perfect for the uh, battleship right there. Max turn, max turn. Ooh, okay then. We're good. Now that I think about it, it probably means it didn't need to turn. Oh, the Sydney survived. That's good. Okay, I don't know what. Oh, Osprey. You can come back now. It's okay. It's kind of safe. Yeah, we got the battleship. If we just kind of paste everything that tries to sail at us. Like that. Exactly like that. Just continue that. Just keep doing that. We're going to... 
send this one as well. Turn off your stupid anti collision. Go in there. think we're going to save the Cornwall, but we can damn well try. Also, if Total War has taught me anything, it's that you clean up after battles if you can. That's... That was spooky. I'm surprised it didn't torp one of them. Oh, rip. There goes that. Goodbye, Cornwall. Good night. We tried. We're going to take the time and end the battle there. And go, oh my god, oh my god. We lost 26 ships. Holy crap. Most of our torpedo boats. Three of our four cruisers that we brought in. Two of our heavy cruisers. But see, that's 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 the uh, that's the charm of 15 inches of armor on a heavy cruiser. So yeah, let's uh, let's look at how that played out on the campaign map. All right. Well, I'm gonna end the video here and record the next one. So I'll see you guys next time and have a good one.